am I gonna do this? Like I have kids and it's hard and a lot of people let that stop them. So regret in a man's eyes, it's fucking painful. You should really go to a retirement home one day and volunteer and just talk to them. It will make you want to do shit every minute of your life because when you're 90 and you're not mobile and you're tired and it's over, you can't do it. You can't do it. Return this. I don't want her to think I'm stealing it. We weren't stars, but we were just used as people on the set. Have you ever used YouTube? No. No? Oh, okay. Good morning, guys. So I got super inspired by Gary Vee. And my turn, and my turn. <laughs> I'm gonna get the number to the retirement home and I'm gonna go visit. I'm inspired by Gary Vee, and so that's what I'm doing. We woke up and Jason, first thing he did was turn on Gary Vee and put it on his newest video. I was like, I just stopped the video and I was like, I'm gonna do it. Like, I wasn't even like fully awake and I was just like, that's such a good idea, I'm gonna do it. So I, I didn't even finish the video. I turned it off and I like started, because it was on his phone and I started looking up numbers for nursing homes. The first house we invested in, there's this ha uh, retirement home down the road and it's like an assisted living place. So that's the first thing I did, I called them. Hi, I just have a question. So we're here at the retirement home. Um, it's an assisted living, senior, senior retirement and assisted living community. We're gonna go talk to some people. Let's go. Say hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. I'm gonna take return this. I don't want her to think I'm stealing it. What's your name? Helen. Helen James. Helen James. I'm Lisa. Oh, hi. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> I love how you're dressed. I put this together for years as a mix and match. Do you know what's coming back right now? And like oh for younger. God, she's off. Okay. For younger girls my age, they're starting to wear vintage things. Oh. Did you know that? Like. This is gorgeous, and I want to start my own clothing line. Oh. And I want to, like, that's ex I love that shirt. I have it for years. You know, I mix and match, and then I can. Yeah. Your wardrobe. Can I see what your blouse looks like? Yeah, it's just a sleeveless. Oh, that is so cute. That is adorable. Yeah. I want girls to love how they look without makeup and. Hair extensions and eyelashes and nails. I want them to love themselves first mm -hmm. before they put all that on because I think that that means everything. If you really know when you put something on, if you feel good in it, you feel good in it. Yeah, things make you feel good, like nails. Mm -hmm. I never get my nails done ever, and I have friends that do, and I'm like, they look so beautiful. And I would love to do that, but make my own nails beautiful, like my own nails. Mm -hmm. Or why not make my own la nail eyelashes longer naturally, or like my own skin clearer mm -hmm. naturally. I make my own skin glow naturally, mm -hmm. you know? Because they put like highlighters. Right now I'm wearing some makeup that makes my skin shine. But like, why don't I do that naturally? Yeah. So, did you do what you love in life? Uh, I pretty much did. I uh, I knew that when <clears throat> we got married, we've been married 71 years. Wow. And uh, we were we knew each other in high school, mm -hmm. so we knew each other. We came from the same family background. Yeah. And uh, so there wasn't one family richer than the other. Yeah. You know, so we meshed. Yes. Yeah. I worked in a office. Mm -hmm. And I like that. And I like I like the book work. Mm -hmm. uh, I, if I had it to do again, I think one of my goals would be uh, high end secretary. High end secretary. Or in an office. 
Okay. Oh, uh, fancy. I would like to have been very good at it. Uh -huh. I didn't even put them with a baby That's me. Yeah. And, uh, so I didn't go to work. Uh -huh. I became more uh, into uh, the family. And then my husband traveled quite a bit with his work. So somebody had to be with the boys. So uh, I never did put them out in any. I went to work after the berries were uh, in the higher end of grade school, job with the school cafeteria, then I had their hours. Uh -huh. Their hours were the same as mine. More to like have your own money to spend? No, our money went in the bank together. Okay. It wasn't for me. Yeah. It was for us. Okay. And uh, I never set my goal just for me. Yeah. It was always more for the family and the home. Okay. These days people break up and they they give up and divorce and that the divorce rate right now is so high. What is the secret to a healthy marriage? Sacrifice. Mm -hmm. For each other. Okay. It gets hard but you can't give you up. Just uh, not centered on yourself. Okay. You help your husband with this work. And that was for the generation that I came from. Yeah. See, I was poor during the Depression. And we didn't have much. You know, we didn't have the toys. And the kids have so much today that they... The generation right now is so spoiled. They want things now. They're yeah. so impatient. They well, don't want to wait and work hard yeah, for I mean, it. I don't know about... I think the girls more expect to leave home at the standard of living that they left home with. I watch my granddaughter. She's now getting a divorce. The money didn't make her happy. The money was there. Her husband was, she didn't work. Yeah. But he, he went up, 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 up with his job. She had three beautiful homes. Uh -huh. And she had uh, all the clothes that she wanted. All the appliances no. were new. They get a new house, they bought new things. Uh -huh. you know. And I would just, how can you do that? You know, yeah. Without sacrificing somewhere. I yes. can see where they were sacrificing. That's I know he grew faster in his work than she could keep up with it so far. You know, she, she should have been more in it to entertain it for them. The way he had to sacrifice and work hard because that is also hard to do. Yeah. It's not just, oh, I'm going to go to work. It's, I got to go to work. Yeah. And. And people see it as the guy that's the men are supposed to work hard. Yeah. And yeah, you're gonna stay home with the kids, but you also that's not the hardest you can push yourself. No. There's always room for growing yeah. and more. We got out of the depression or we didn't get out of the depression till World War Two started. And I can't we were imagine in high, that. Yeah, we were in high school. Is it something you just heard you're about? You're a teenager, like, you know, they yeah. don't touch you like okay. that. They always see newsreels of the war, you know, really? at the movie theater when you went to the movie. I want all women to do good and to not have to rely on a man and to do what they love and be like the best in everything. If you love makeup, pursue makeup. If you love clothes, pursue clothes. Travel and see the world and not have to worry about money to keep you from doing things like going to see your dad in another across the country or yeah. you know going to Mexico to see your family like I can't do that but I would love to yeah, but that would be a lot of sacrifice yeah. on your part to yes. get to do those things exactly you're young, yeah you don't have the money life should be reversed you should have your money when you're younger and you got the vitality to exactly. do these things and now that we're old we got some money, but we don't have to get go. Yeah, so we need to start doing things that we love to. People say money isn't everything, but you need money to do oh, a lot of things. I have heard that before. I we didn't furnish our houses like young people do today all at once. Uh -huh. You furnish the whole house, the bedrooms, the kitchen, the appliances, and the dining room set, uh -huh. and uh, the washing machine. We paid off one thing uh -huh. before we could buy another one. Uh -huh. Okay. And that's the way our credit went. Kids get so far in debt today that that becomes overwhelms them, and then their marriages fall apart. 
when you're well off with money, your relationship is real a lot better. Yeah. And so when and that's when patience comes in hand. You can't have it all at once. You no. gotta do things little by little no. and work hard for it. But at the time we were going through this, uh -huh. all of our friends were going through the same thing. Okay, well, it was very nice yeah, meeting you. Well, it's nice to meet you, too. You're very nice. You're I very know. outgoing, and your children are outgoing. Thank you. You're going to do fine. So, Noah and Sophia. Uh, you're very beautiful. You guys are so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I lived in California, and uh, my first job after college was to go and work for a company that was developing television. We weren't stars, but we were just used as people on the set. It was a field that was developing, you know. Yeah. And uh, then after my children started coming along, the, they still wanted me to come to work, but I couldn't handle both. I told them I had to be home with them, uh, because we lived miles out. <laughs> And mm -hmm. it was just too far to drive and, you yeah. know, Yeah, it's a lot with kids. Uh, <laughs> I, I know, it's hard. Okay, so did you quit after you had kids? Yes, I did. Take things step by step, like, it, it takes a lot out of me just to get up and shower and yeah. and do my laundry, you know. That's, that's a full day's work anymore. <laughs> Do you have any advice for young women that want to chase after their dreams? Keep going for it day by day. Do you ever use YouTube? No. No? Oh, okay. We're walking to see your wife. Yeah, she's over across the street. Yeah. In the memory care section, she has Alzheimer's. And you told me she doesn't remember me, she doesn't remember anything. Mm -hmm.